Police target a classic car, but this sharp looking Corvette is more than a ride for one local woman. It's her deep connection to her late father. New tonight, her emotional plea to get it back and why it means so much to her family. He was the strongest and the bravest man I know. To hear the pain in Judith Odbert's voice, you might think she just recently lost her father. Truth is, he's been deceased for several years. But something he left Judith is now gone. And that pain... So it's pretty shocking. ...is unbearable. And the question is, where did they put it? What do they plan to do with it? It is this 1963 Corvette. Modified, clean and classic. Pearl white, complete with flared fenders and racing flames on the hood and sides. It was the car her dad, before he became disabled, brought back to life to give to others after his was over. A rolling reminder of his enduring love. It was just part of him. Everybody said that was the car that Jack built. On Labor Day weekend, it became the car that someone stole, towed from this Carmichael auto body shop on a rope tied to a beat up sedan. Oh, wow. Daniel Hughes saw the car in the yard. Uh, white Corvette. And can't believe someone ripped it off. I never heard of any break-ins or anything right here. A break-in that's left more than an empty parking spot. For Judith, it's reopened a wound this classic car helped heal. That was the one thing. I mean, you saw it, you felt your dad was still around. If the car is still around, Judith wants to drive home a simple message to whoever hauled it away. I don't care about you getting caught. I just want the vehicle back. If you just put it somewhere where it can be seen. That's all she wants, to see her dad's pride and joy returned. The car that Jack built back in the hands of the family that Jack built. It's just not right for someone else to have this vehicle. It belongs in our family. Because the Corvette was towed with only a rope, police don't think it went very far. So if you spot it, last seen in the San Juan Avenue Oak Knoll Drive area of Carmichael, give law enforcement a call. Judith would love to get that car back.